Last year, I ported Rob Riches to Linux and wrote two Reddit posts on the Linux Gaming subreddit about it. The first announcing the port, and the second talking about the numbers, the wishlists and sales we gained from the port. When writing the second post, we had 1164 unspecified platform wishlists, 988 Windows wishlists, 0 Mac wishlists, and 96 Linux wishlists. These wishlists are only counted if you have set your platform specific wishlisting on, so the numbers are not that easy to judge by. We also had 237 sales on Windows, 2 sales on Mac, and 27 sales on Linux. The way Steam counts what platform you buy the game from is a bit iffy. If you haven't played the game, it goes for Windows if you use a browser or your phone or something, or it checks your actual platform if you use the Steam client. If you have played the games, it takes your first 7 or 14 days of playing or of playtime, I don't know which one is correct, and uses whichever platform you played the game on the most. Four days after I wrote the Linux gaming post and the activity on it had mostly simmered down, we had gained 60 additional wishlists and 27 additional sales. And lastly, today, which is another five months later, we have 93 more unspecified platform wishlists, 118 more Windows wishlists, 2 more Mac wishlists, and 44 more Linux wishlists. As well as 43 more Windows sales, 2 more Mac sales, and 32 more Linux sales. This means that Linux has increased from being 10% of our total sales to being 17, no wait, actually closer to 18% of our total sales. If you found this interesting, please consider subscribing. I do want to share more stats like this in the future. And that's basically all I had to share for now. Bye bye.